In today's video, we're going to be writing equations of special segments. So in our first one, we are given triangle ABC over here, and we're told that segment AJ is a median. So when I go from A to J, J is going to be on the opposite side, because it's a median, I know that J is going to be the midpoint of segment BC, and that's going to be really important as we're trying to find our special pieces. So if I want to find the coordinates of J, and because it's a median, we know that J is going to be the midpoint, we're going to use our midpoint formula of segment BC. Remember, we're adding, averaging the x's and we're averaging the y's. So our x's are a negative 1 and a negative 5. We cut that in half. 11 and a negative 9. We cut that in half. So negative 1 and negative 5 gives us a negative 6 divided by 2. 11 minus 9 is 2 divided by 2. So we find the coordinates of that point is going to be negative 3, 1. So the coordinates of J here are going to be a negative 3, 1. And we know from our uh, last video, in order to write an equation, we need two things. We need a point and we need a slope. So if I want to write the equation of my segment AJ, I have a point at negative 3, 1, because it's a midpoint. What about the slope of AJ? If I want to find the slope of my segment AJ, we've got to use our slope formula. And we know that our slope formula, we subtract the y's on top and the x's on the bottom. And I'm using my coordinates of a and j for that. Because so I want the slope of segment aj. So we've got 5 minus 1 on top, 3 minus a negative 3, which means I'm adding 3 on the bottom. 5 minus 1 is 4 over 6. That reduces down to 2 thirds. So we know that the slope of line AJ is going to be two-thirds. We want to write the equation of that median AJ in point slope form. So again we needed two things. We need a point on the line and we need the slope of a line. There is some flexibility here because we are actually given two points on the line. I have A and I have J. I'm going to use J because why not? So we've got Y minus our Y coordinate which in this case is 1 equals our slope of two-thirds, and then x minus the x-coordinate minus a negative 3 means that I'm adding 3. So we just wrote the equation of the median of the triangle. Still, we need a slope and a point each time around. When we get to number 2, we are looking at triangle ABC again, and this time we are looking at segment BK and BK is an altitude. We think about what an altitude does. An altitude is going to drop straight down, and an altitude is forming right angles. And we know that right angles are formed by perpendicular lines. So if I want to find the slope of BK, I would either need the coordinates of B and K, and I don't have K, and because K is not the midpoint, because we, altitudes have nothing to do with the midpoints, I can't find the coordinates of K. But what I do know is because BK is an altitude, that means that BK has to be perpendicular to AC. And we know that perpendicular lines have opposite reciprocal slopes. So what we're going to do is we're going to find the slope of segment AC. Here's A and C. We subtract the Y's on top. So 5 minus a negative 9 means I'm adding 9 over 3 minus a negative 8, 5, which means I'm adding 5, gives us 14 over 8, which is going to reduce down to 7 over 4. Now that's the slope of AC. Our goal was to find the slope of BK. Well, BK is perpendicular, so the opposite of positive is negative. The reciprocal of 7 over 4 is a negative 4 over 7. What are the coordinates of a point on BK? Well, remember we talked about we can't find K. We don't know what K is and there's no way to find out what it is. But we do have B that was given to us from the beginning. So I don't have to do any work to find that point at all. So now we have our point and we have our slope. We write our equation in point slope form. So Y minus the Y coordinate equals the slope of a negative 4 over 7 
x minus a negative 1 means that I'm adding 1. And there's our equation of our altitude. Again, the key is altitudes have perpendicular lines. That's the property that we're going to utilize here. In number 3, our last one, we have triangle ABC. Here we're going to look at the different aspects of this triangle ABC. So we're not given that we have a median, we're not given that we have an altitude. Just looking at triangle ABC, we want to, in part A, find the slope of the line that's perpendicular to AB. So we know perpendicular lines have opposite reciprocal slopes, so we find the slope of segment AB, subtract, here's A, here's B, or here's A, here's B. We're ignoring C right now. So we subtract the Y's on top, 11 minus 5 on top, negative 1 minus 3 on the bottom, giving us 6 over a negative 4, which is going to be a negative 3 halves. So in this case, if the slope of our segment AB is a negative 3 halves and we want perpendicular, we do the opposite of negative, which is positive, the reciprocal, which is going to be 2 thirds. And then part B, what are the coordinates of the median of AB? So the median of AB is going to be going through that midpoint right there. And so we're going to use the midpoint formula of AB. So we average the x's, so a negative 1 plus 3 cut in half. We add the y's, cut in half. So negative 1 plus 3 is 2 over 2. 11 and 5 is 16 over 2. So we find that the median, or our midpoint, is going to be at 1, 8. Write the equation of the perpendicular bisector of AB. So if it's perpendicular bisector, it's going through. It has that right angles, which is the perpendicular slope that we found in part A. It's also a bisector, meaning it's also a median that we did in part B. So to write the equation, we need our point and our slope. Here's our slope, here's our point. So we start in point slope form. Y minus the Y coordinate is equal to the slope. X minus the X coordinate. Now, if it had been point slope form, we would be done but our directions say slope intercept form. So we distribute, and we get y minus eight equals two thirds x minus two thirds. I distributed the two thirds to each piece, and then I add eight over here. So you can go ahead and do this in your calculator, or you can do it by hand by getting a common denominator. Just in your calculator, you type in negative two thirds plus eight, and we end up with our equation as y equals two thirds x, plus 22 thirds. Don't be scared of those fractions. All right, we are all done for today.